Welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's continue with our session on ascribing human characteristics to AI advantages and pitfalls. So the next speaker, uh, the next speakers are Jolly Thomas and Mubarak Hussein from the Indian Institute of Technology, Dawad. The title of the presentation is Moral Attribution in Moral Turing Test in Person. And I understand that Mubarak will be the person to present the paper. Uh, yes, uh, hello everyone. Yeah. yeah, hi, I'm Mubarak, good to see you. Oh. Um, and I, I see that you already started sharing your screen. Yes. The floor is yours. Just begin with your presentation, maybe start the slideshow and yeah. Looking forward to your presentation. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Mubarak Hussain and I'm from Indian Institute of Technology, Dharwad. So now I'm going to present a very short, uh, I mean, presentation. Uh, the title of our presentation is uh, Moral Attribution in Moral Turing Test. So, uh, so in our paper, we uh, basically argue uh, that uh, the Moral Turing Test, uh, which was uh, developed by Allen and other uh, for evaluating uh, the more evaluating moral in uh, AI system, uh, was inappropriately designed. So uh, if you look at the different versions of uh, moral Turing test, uh, we'll find out that uh, Ellen and other basically focus on uh, an agent's uh, conversational ability uh, and the distribution of morally relevant action. So if we uh, talk about, or if you discuss about uh, morality, morality is not like uh, uh, merely, uh, you know, uh, Merely about moral is not merely about conversational ability of an agent or description of morally relevant action. So moral is more about uh, you know performance of morally relevant uh, action. So uh, we uh, will show that uh, Ellen and other actually missed a very uh, crucial uh, you know point uh, or a, a crucial distinction, uh, which is uh, the ascription versus performance distinction. So. Uh, and uh, we also think that uh, through this uh, distinction, uh, one can you know, actually, you know, evaluate uh, an uh, agent uh, morality, or whether the machine have the morality or not, morality or not. Uh, through this uh, distinction, we can, uh, you know, evaluate. So, what is uh, moral Turing test? Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, briefly talk about uh, the moral Turing test. So the moral Turing test uh, was, uh, you know, developed by Allen and others uh, in order to check whether a machine uh, could have, uh, you know, morality or not. So it, this test is, I mean, this uh, moral Turing test is uh, similar to the famous uh, Turing test, which which was uh, developed by um, Alan Turing. So uh, both are similar in the sense that, uh, you know, the participant and the arrangement. Uh, are similar to uh, each other, but uh, there is a difference uh, between these two tests, uh, and that difference is uh, in the moral Turing test. Allen and others, uh, you know, uh, try to access uh, whether machine could have a, a morality or not. But uh, in the case of uh, you know Turing test, uh, Allen Turing tries to you know uh, evaluate whether a machine could have uh, intelligence or machine could uh, uh, similar to uh, human being or not. So uh, this, I mean, th this is the difference between these two tests, but uh, uh, other things are remain same. So uh, in the uh, past versions of uh, MTT or moral Turing test, Ellen and others, uh, basically they give importance uh, to uh, the ability to converse about morality. So according to them, if the interrogator cannot distinguish uh, the responses provided by the AI system, then the AI system will pass the test. So 
you know, as I already mentioned, morality is not about merely conversing about uh, uh, morality or so it is more about the uh, performance of the morally relevant action. So uh, in order to overcome uh, this uh, issue, uh, which has happened in the first uh, versions of uh, Turing test, I mean, moral Turing test. So they again, uh, you know, introduce uh, a updated versions of uh, moral Turing test. So where they uh, basically focus uh, on a pair of description of morally significant actions. So uh, in the updated versions of uh, um, moral Turing test, they uh, try to bring uh, the performative uh, aspect of morality. But, uh, you know, the, the, this is also not enough. Since, uh, you know, morality is uh, not about a description of morally significant connections. So, you know, in order to be a moral agent or a moral entity, you should have uh, the ability to perform in a morally significant uh, in a situation or scenario. So, uh, in this uh, updated version, according to them, uh, if the interrogator cannot identify the AI system from the pair of descriptions of morally significant action, then the AI system uh, will pass the test. So uh, both uh, the criteria like the conversational ability and the description uh, of morally significant action, <clears throat> both criteria are not enough to consider uh, someone or something to be a moral uh, entity or a moral agent. So these are the uh, limitations, so like I, as I already mentioned. So it is not, a, I mean, conversational ability is not enough uh, to consider uh, an agent uh, or a, an AI system a moral agent. And uh, moreover, this description about, uh, you know, morally significant uh, scenario also uh, does not guarantee that uh, that uh, particular agent uh, have morality or not. So uh, descriptions are basically some statement and uh, through which we cannot determine no, whether uh, the system has uh, uh, morality or not. So that's why uh, we, we uh, uh, you know, uh, try to introduce a uh, discrete distinction and uh, which we think that uh, it's a very uh, crucial distinction. Uh, the distinction is uh, ascriber versus subject or ascription versus performance distinction. So uh, there is a, you know, vast difference between uh, the act of moral attribution and the preference of morally relevant action. So in this line of thinking, we can make a distinction uh, between uh, the subscriber versus subject distinction. So a subject is someone, uh, you know, who perform the action uh, and uh, through the action uh, that, uh, you know, subject should make some effect on other uh, subject as well also. So until and unless the subject uh, makes some, uh, you know, uh, effect on other uh, subject, that uh, particular action doesn't have any moral significance. So on the uh, other hand, uh, ascriber is someone who ascribe or attribute morality to the subject or to the action. So here, uh, one could uh, argue that uh, a person should, uh, uh, I mean, a subject should be a person, like uh, uh, those person who uh, support uh, a standard view. So according to them, uh, the subject should be a, a human being, since human can only, uh, you know, execute uh, a morality in a meaningful way. But uh, uh, supporter like uh, functional functionalist uh, would say that, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't matter whether it is a human being or a machine. Even a machine can also uh, functionally execute uh, morality uh, like a human being. So uh, if we uh, look at the uh, different versions of, of uh, MTT or model Turing test, uh, we <clears throat> will find out that, uh, you know, the participant of uh, the model Turing test, uh, you know, do not see the actions and uh, the and uh, behind uh, and unable to decide uh, behind morally behind the uh, action. So uh, suppose uh, I am a uh, attributor. So uh, I'd like to attribute something to a uh, machine uh, by saying that uh, Mr. X uh, lies in ABC situations and uh, it is a morally wrong action. So uh, being as an attributor, I'm attribute uh, this to a machine. 
and based on this uh, attribution a machine would you know a response uh, uh, that machine would uh, decide whether that uh, particular action is morally right or wrong so uh, in this case uh, i mean in the case of uh, uh, different versions of uh, i mean uh, model turing test allen uh, and others actually you know uh, give importance to the conversational ability uh, suppose, suppose that example i have given right now uh, I, as a attributor i am giving something to a machine and based on that machine will uh, you know converse or machine would, uh, would respond based on that uh, uh, attribution so the morality is uh, more, more than this you no know? so as i already mentioned morality is uh, uh, mainly uh, focus on the performance of the morally significant action so uh, this uh, uh, i mean limitation we have seen in the different versions of uh, mtt or model turing test so that's why uh, as i already mentioned we need a, uh, a distinction between uh, acts of moral attribution and performance of morally significant action so uh, there is a vast difference between um, machine attributing morality and the machine performing morally relevant action so suppose mr x uh, is good at conversing discussing uh, conversing or discussing uh, morally without performing uh, a morally relevant action so suppose uh, you know i I'm, i'm presenting this paper in front of you and this this is uh, not a morally relevant action so uh, even though um, the this act uh, like this uh, presenting the paper doesn't have any uh, moral significance but uh, being i i can i can be a person uh, who can uh, you know talk about talk a great thing about morality like uh, you know for example i can uh, i can say that uh, helping people in their need is uh, morally correct and we should always help uh, those who is in need so uh, even though you know uh, i'm not performing any um, any morally significant uh, you know action but i can be a very uh, uh, i mean extremely good at uh, conversing or discussing about uh, discussing a great thing about morality so but in reality i might be a person who never helps anyone or who doesn't uh, like to help anyone at all so um, based on this uh, you know example uh, we could uh, say that uh, uh, the criteria allen and other have uh, taken to um, evaluate a machine's morality is not enough so they did need, they did not actually uh, make this uh, distinction and uh, uh, even uh, arnold and other also argue against the moral turing test and according to uh, them uh, without performative uh, or without performance of morally significant uh, action moral turing test is actually uh, you know insufficient so in my conclusion uh, i would say that at the level of uh, attribution the moral turing test may be a, a perfect uh, test but uh, uh, you know at the level of uh, performance of uh, action it may not be a uh, you know perfect so thank you very much thank you very much uh, mubarak for this uh, great discussion of the moral turing test and for the ascription versus uh, performance distinction i think that that's really crucial here um may i ask the question maybe i'm the only one who didn't get this but still i i ask it so you mentioned the, the first type of turing test is just talking about morality and the second type of of turing test you mentioned was about comparisons of two 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 different uh, similar situations could could you explain a little bit more what what the second type of turing test exactly is about because i just yeah i mean um, see uh, in the first level of or first uh, versions of mt mtt or model turing test we have seen that uh, they only given importance to the conversational ability of a uh, person or agent 
but in order to you know overcome but mold is not uh, about uh, conversing about uh, morality right so in order to overcome that issue they introduce uh, second versions of an mtt there also they talk about a pair of descriptions of morally relevant actions so uh, i mean in the second versions of mtt also they did not uh, give importance to the performative uh, aspect of morality the in the second version also they are giving some description about morality who is also you know uh, you know not a, a proper way to say someone or something has morality or not yes uh, i'm unable yeah. to hear i was i i i was muted thank you i i see thank you for explaining this okay. thank you so nick you have a question uh, yeah, just uh, following up on your question, actually, Elizabeth, I was wondering, uh, Mubarak, whether you could tell me a little bit more about uh, what kinds of questions were asked in the moral Turing test, because, for example, in the in the way you described the first version of it, uh, you're talking about the ability to converse about morality, but um, it seems like in neither version, so neither in the first nor the second version, are the AI in question being asked to make, say, moral judgments, right? Because there seems to be a very a significant difference between simply conversing or you know describing actions or so on, and then making moral judgments as being uh, something distinct. And I wondered whether that was completely absent from the Turing test or from the moral version of the Turing test or whether it was uh, being put forward in some of the questions but just not being highlighted here. Yeah, so uh, as my understanding, you wanted to ask uh, a bit what kind of question asks in the second versions of MTT or is it uh, different? Like... Uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of what what questions are asked, but also a matter of yeah. what types of feedback are being solicited because, you know, kind of descriptions are distinct from judgments and, and something that can, you know, describe or something that can describe a moral claim is distinct from something that can judge a moral claim. Yeah, I mean, they have given a sort of a pair of description, like uh, any uh, description, uh, any, I mean, moral judgment they have given. So based on that only, they wanted to check whether the machine have the morality or not. So, yeah. Are there any other questions? Common thought? I mean, another type of question is how, how could the performance aspect be included in the, in the moral Turing test? And I, I understand the, the the question we just had, like um, um, moral judgment could be a type of um, performance. Maybe this is my interpretation. Um, so what, what sort of performance are, are you thinking of that could be included in a moral Turing test? Because it's not a you won't see a machine doing something because you then you automatically know that it's a machine. Yeah. So, uh, if possible, can you repeat the question, ma'am? Uh, I didn't <laughs> hear properly. It's, it was, I don't know. But should I repeat it or should I, should I try to rephrase it? So, uh, you made, made this distinction be between ascription of 
of yeah. morality and uh, performance. Yes. More performance of moral, more performance related to morality. Let's put it that way. Or more, prof yeah. Mm. So how could and 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 the, the how how could a, a, a Turing test be developed, or what? How would a Turing test would look like that that better took the performance aspect into consideration? Yeah, I mean, uh, if we look at uh, the different versions of uh, MTT, uh, I mean, all all the uh, you know, including uh, the interrogator and the participant, all are kind of uh, you know, uh, attributable. But uh, you know, uh, in our distinction, uh, we would say that uh, you know uh, the interrogator would be the uh, you know uh, ascriber, but uh, that uh, human being, one human being, and the other one that uh, you know more, I mean, machine would be the subject. So this distinction is there in our in our uh, research. So, but earlier, I mean, in in the model Turing test. All, all threes are a kind of attributor. Yeah, thank you. Are there other questions, comments, thoughts? You can thank raise you. your hand and unmute yourself or type something in the chat, whatever you prefer. If not, so thanks a lot, Mubarak, for Thank this you very interesting presentation. And uh, 